Hello, Murray Newlands and John Rampton here with Search Engine Journal. In this video, we're looking at Penguin 2.0. John, what's happening? Oh no, prepare. Uh, prepare yourself for Penguin 2.0. So Matt Cutts came out with a video uh, a couple days ago this week uh, talking about Penguin 2.0, some of the things that are happening. Um, uh, one of the things that he talked about is link authority. Uh, so I think they're going to go into a lot more on what's happening with links and the authority of links, how powerful a link is, how unpowerful a link is. So going a little bit more into that, I think they're going to start um, breaking down links and giving a lot more authority to authority sites and a lot slash no authority to sites that aren't doing anything. So Can you give me a bit more detail on that? What, what exact, when you, for those so, who are... Yeah. You're in this authority sites. Come on, yeah. Break the okay, down. okay. So it's kind of SEO terms. Sorry. All right. Let me let me explain that a little bit more. So going into that a little bit more, sites with more authority are sites that receive ten times more social authority, right. who get a lot of tweets. So they blog something out to their users, and you know they don't just get hoots or you know nobody talking about them. They get you know a thousand tweets or. 100 tweets or 100 likes or a bunch of G pluses, a bunch of social signals. I think uh, social signals and social signals attached to powerful profiles are going to be very important in this. So, you know, if Matt Cutts is saying, hey, this is a very relevant post and he's in that niche, it's going to be very, very relevant. Versus, you know, a running blog, if I go to it, I'm an SEO guy and I say, oh, this is really important, I don't think it's going to count as much. Whereas, you know, a professional athlete who's a runner, they go and say it's important, that's a big social signal. And I think they're going to start paying a lot more attention to that moving forward. Isn't that open to gamification, though? Obviously, people have multiple Twitter accounts, multiple social accounts that they use to share their own content with, and also groups of share, group sharing. I mean, yeah, whatever is out there, it's always going to be scammed, um, no matter what you do. But at the same time, you can't, necessarily scam a very important person yeah uh, because they're gonna have those social indicators behind it there I mean a very important you know Matt cuts anytime he tweets something out is going to be retweeted a thousand times versus right. you know a fake Matt cuts account is gonna be maybe retweeted twice by their own accounts and it's just gonna be the same accounts over and over and over retweeting yep. them so you can't really fake that uh, you can't fake also tons of social signals um, from those important people. You can fo fake social signals. You can go buy likes. You can buy Google Pluses. You can buy that. I don't recommend doing that. It's just going to hurt you in the long run. But um, going after those um, and strong influencers will help you out. So, What else do you see happening with this? Uh, guest posting. Beware. They're going after guest posting. Uh, which I've been saying for months. I mean, uh, our We've video. Come with that, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think about a month ago we talked about guest posting. How I said bio links I think are totally dead. I think they're completely dead. I don't know. I think bio links have been dead for a long time. Just Google's still giving them validity. Um, I think guest posting on irrelevant sites completely dead. And I think they're going to hit those this update. Uh, which, if you're a good SEO, you're not doing that anyways. Uh, other things in guest posting is the authority rank on that person. So if you are an authority, I think you'll get your guest posts will receive a lot more validity and a lot more link value versus if you're not an important person or at least building up your credibility, it's, uh, it's not going to help you. So as a blogger, I might get less requests from Indian SEO companies asking to do guest posts, possibly. You know, I'm pretty sure it won't calm down, but you don't have to worry because it's not really helping them out. Right. So no, that's perfect. Yeah. What so, else do you see? Uh, I mean, guest posting, I think there's a lot more to it um, than just those two factors. I think uh, relevancy is going to become a very, very big part. If you're posting yeah. on irrelevant sites for links, I mm -hmm. think it's going to hurt you more than help you. Right. And I think previous links are also going to hurt you. Um, so Google has been, I mean, they released about three or four months ago the disavow tool where you can yeah. go and disavow old um, links 
that are pointing to your site and you could say, hey Google, I think Google's going to use this data in this next update to penalize <coughs> some of the guys out there, big companies, watch out in a floral. Um, and a couple other sites out there who have been buying links or doing a little bit shadier link building uh -huh. who people have go gone and disavowed their things. I think it's going to start, I think those, I, I mean, you could go disavow like an SEO Moz and it's not going to affect them or yeah. a search engine journal or search engine watch or any, any site out there you could go disavow. And I don't think, I think the social indicators will tell Google, hey, they're smart enough to figure it out. But if a million people are disavowing this crappy site, yeah, there's got to be something I wrong with that. I think that all the links on that site that one aren't disavowed are going to hurt your site. Interesting. And two, that site's going to be completely devalued. So in a way, you have to use a disavow site, and the more people use it, like it's a great little tool for Google. Uh, yeah, that way. I think it's Google's little uh, ploy, one to help us out. Yep. Um, because it really does help us out. It tells Google, hey that link shouldn't be there. Or, yeah, oh, all right, I was a little bit of a scammer in the past, did a little bit of black hat. Sorry, but I'm not gonna, you know, I don't want that link, or I don't want these couple links. Uh, and Google, I think, will use that information. I mean, why wouldn't they? I mean, exactly. people are providing this data saying, hey, this isn't relevant to us. This is a crappy site. Uh, I mean, it's two-folded. There's a relevancy, and then there's, this is a crappy site altogether. Yeah. Uh, I think they're factoring both of those in. Fantastic. John Rampton and Murray Newlands. Hey guys, this week, next week's video. Uh, we would love to know your comments. Please make them below. Please also subscribe. Yep, subscribe down below to uh, SCJ on YouTube. So also, if you have any questions, uh, make sure to leave them in the comments. And we try and update you guys and try and update them in posts. So uh, excited to hear from you next week. See you next time. Bye. Bye.